Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Katie, and today I have a very much requested video for you guys today. Um, a lot of people said they wanted to see this, so here it is. Today I'm going to be showing you the basics of stamping. I don't have any wooden stamps, so I can't really show you the difference, but I do highly recommend especially for beginners, clear stamps. They are awesome and they're so much more easy to use than the block wooden stamps. And I'll show you why for a couple reasons. So today I have a couple things that I have. This is pretty much my whole supply of ink. I have two. But what you're gonna need just to start out is ink, of course. If you're doing Bible journaling or any journaling with kind of fairly thin paper, I recommend putting gesso on your page first, let it dry, and then stamp. Especially if you're going to be doing using darker colors like the black or the gray because they may um, show a pretty big shadow underneath your page. But I will link uh, a gesso brand that I use down in the description below for you guys to check out. It's very reasonably priced on Amazon and it works really nicely. But Color box. I did do a review before I bought any ink for my stamping because I only started stamping maybe a couple months ago and I'm really, really enjoying it. But I used Color Box ink because it's the one that bleeds the least in Bible pages, as well as um, it does take a little longer to dry, but it doesn't smear once dry. So I really like these stamps. But I bought these on sale at Michael's. I will try to link them down in the description below where you can find them. And then I'm using Illustrated Faith's Love Stamps. These are clear stamps, which are really awesome. And then I will also be using an acrylic block to apply them. Sorry about the glare. But I know a hack for this, which is really cool. You can actually use a clear CD case. If you have any old CDs hanging around, just take out the like the lyric sleeve and use the clear CD case as your block if you don't feel like buying them. But I do recommend an, an acrylic block, especially if you're going to be using lettering because if you can see up close, there are lines on this block and they help you guide your lettering. So your lettering will be perfectly even and perfectly straight. So that's why I like them. That's why I got them. But as for the stamps, um, I have used these. It's not like I've never used them and never taken them out. I leave them in here so no dust can get on them, no fingerprints. You will get fingerprints on them. I mean, it's gonna happen. But it helps to keep them clean. It helps no dust to get in here. So I recommend to keep the packaging they came in. So number one, so you don't get them dirty. And number two, so if you like these and you end up losing a stamp or you end up like, it got ripped or anything, you know where it came from. You know it's Illustrated Faith and you know it's the Loved Collection. So that's a great idea to keep your stamps in. So I wanna show you a couple things today and I also have a couple, I have a an ink tutorial that I'm gonna be doing later on um, in, a, in a separate video. Cause this is just basics need to know for beginners for stamping. So this is how cool this is. They come in a pack and there's two um, acetate sleeves on both sides. What I want to show you is this also protects it. So if you don't have the sleeve, don't worry about it. Just make sure you have these clear plastic things and don't throw them away. But one is clear. But the other one actually has the inked symbol on it. So that's why you also want to keep these. Because once you take it off, I'll take off the XOXO. Once you take it off of there, it's a clear stamp now. And especially for lettering, it might be hard to tell what that says. So it has the XOXO and you can place the stamp back on right where it belonged because it's stamped right on this acetate sheet. So I'm gonna show you just the basic things to do with this. I'm just gonna do the love symbol or the love lettering. And you just peel it off the acetate. Now, when you go to stamp, there is a rough side where it is where the lettering is raised. That's the side you wanna use to put ink on. 
this other side, which is completely, completely smooth, that's the side you want to put on your clear block. So smooth side, always remember, down on your block. And it, the lettering is going to be backwards, but that's okay. And you just want to stick it down, make sure it sticks on there. And what's cool about these is they will always remain sticky. Sometimes they're, sometimes they lose their stickiness just a little bit, so you have to press down a little harder, but they won't lose their stickiness. They will stick on, stick off, and they will stay on there, which I think is really cool. So as for these guidelines that are there, you can actually measure to see where you want your thing to lay so it's nice and straight. And you want to take your ink. I'm going to use a darker color just to show you guys how this works. Now what's cool about these, about color box, is most stamps, you know how you go and you go like this. Well, you might not if you're brand new, but with like a wooden block and with one ink pad, you would have to stamp it like this until you got the color on here. With these, the petal ones and these ones, each different color comes out of its container. So if you wanted the black, you just pull from the side. You don't pull from the top because you're going to get your hands all inky. But they have these little pull tabs on the side and you just pull. And each petal comes out from the container. And then you just slide it back in. They have little, little grooves. So you can take each petal out of any color that you wanted. And I'm just going to use black for the sake of this video because... It's easy to see. So what you're going to do is you're just going to tap it on your stamp. And you want to make sure you put enough. Actually, I think this one might actually be to where the love shows clear. I never used this one before, so it's a good. So as you can see, the love is actually going to be clear. And the black part is going to show up on the paper. So you just want to make sure that you cover all the spots. You just want to tap it on like that and then you want to put your ink back because otherwise you'll forget to put it back later so what you're going to do what I love about these is you can flip it over to where your stamp is on there and you can see where you lay it that's why I recommend the clear stamps instead of the blocks because if you're new it's going to be very hard to line this up so say let's just say you have a line or like there's grass on the ground or whatever on your paper. I'm just gonna draw like a, a block, I guess. And just pretend like it's a little plant container. And say you wanna lay your stamp right at the top. I'm gonna zoom in a little. Right at the top of this line with a wooden block. I'm just gonna show you. If you have a wooden block, it's gonna look like this. This isn't a wooden block, this is just my ink pad. But that's where you're gonna see on the back of, an ink, of a stamp block. You're not going to be able to line it up too well. It's going to be possibly crooked if you don't have practice. But with a clear block, you can flip it over. And this is also good for lettering. I'll show you lettering as well, just to show you how to line it up well. But you can line it up with your line. And you can see right where your line is underneath that acrylic block. And then you just press down. In all spaces, you just want to press it down and then you lift it up, which the paper's going to go with it. But that's how exact it is. I'm going to show you up close. My line is crooked, don't blame my line. <laughs> but you can see how well it lined up with the line, and that's because of the acrylic block. You can line it up and bam, there it is. That's how quick and easy it is. Now I'm going to show you guys how to clean. Super easy to clean. I honestly don't remember how to clean wooden blocks. I've had a few wooden stamps when I was younger, but I don't remember how to clean them. But all you're going to use is you can use, a, you can use a baby wipe, you can use soap and water, or you can use Lysol wipes, which I just happen to have handy right here. But you're, you're going to take a... <laughs> struggles over here. Struggles real opening up wipes. <laughs> but you're going to take a wipe and make sure there's not a whole bunch of excess water on it. There's always excess water. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your wipe and you're gonna go to your stamp and this is how easy and quick it is. You just take your stamp and you wipe it away. And see all that ink came up on the wipe. So that's how easy and quick it is. And you can just let it dry and then put it back in. Look how much ink there was on there. I probably could have stamped a few more times. Um, you can actually do that if you want a faded look, 
you can stamp and re-stamp the same stamp instead of putting more ink on it. So that's how quick and easy that is. I'm not going to throw away my wipe because I can use it later, but that's how quick it was. And you can wipe this off with a paper towel or a regular um, kitchen towel because it should be pretty much clean by now. Um, the baby wipe got all of it. There's no ink or anything. So you can put it right back on your acrylic sheet that I showed you right where your love symbol is right there. And you wanted the grooves, yeah, grooves up and smooth side down. So that's how quick and easy that was. And I want to show you how to do lettering really quick because lettering is fun. It can also be frustrating because there is a lot of letters and it might take a while to stamp out a sentence if you want. So I'm just going to do my name because it's a little easier and a little quicker. And I'm going to put this back in its sleeve. So we know that goes back in there and that goes along with that. Also make sure you put it right side up because sometimes I forget that. And you just pop it back in. And then you can use them for later. See how quick that was? And with these, I've noticed that people say that the black like um, makes an impression on it and it doesn't leave the color, but I've noticed that it really hasn't. It's actually more of this like this brown color right here actually makes more of an impression and leaves it there like kind of like um, a permanent color but it's just a shadowing it doesn't um, cause any color um, changes when you use a different color so I'm gonna do some lettering and I need my letters thankfully they're in the same room with everything else so I'm gonna grab my stamping should we do cursive or should we do printing? Printing, I guess. That way it's a little easier to read and see if I can find my lettering. There we go. So I have these cool kind of clear stamps. They'll probably be a little bit easier to read than the, than the cursive anyways, even though I really like the cursive. But this one, um, I will try to link in the description below. I got these at Tuesday mornings. Tuesday mornings, best store ever. If you are looking for for Bible journaling, scrapbooking, pretty much anything, they have so much stuff and it's a lot cheaper than most places. So I got these actually in clearance. They're only like, I think like $1.98 or $2.50, something like that. So it's well worth checking out. I think I put these in backwards. Yes, I did. But I'm going to take these out. And again, this is the exact same thing as the other ones I showed you the two acetate um, things and this one has whoops one of the letters slipped <laughs> but this one has the ink side so you can see where the letters are and I'm just gonna pick out my lettering and I'll also show you if you have um, more than one letter say like if you're gonna if you're gonna I'm gonna just gonna do my YouTube channel name which is Katie Faith if you have two A's there's one A in Katie and one A in Faith. There's also two I's. <laughs> Realize that. You can either do one word at a time, but I'll just show you another way too. So we're just gonna take that off and I'm gonna take the K, little A, little T, little I, Let's see where little I is, there's little I, and the little E. There we go, okay. I'm going to show you two different ways. You can either do one word at a time, which is probably the easiest way just to make sure you have it lined up correctly. And you want to put the letters almost probably touching each other because if you put them too far apart from each other, it's not going to look like a word. It's just going to look like letters. And that's when these lines come in handy. These lines that are in this acrylic block are going to help you line up your word, which is awesome. It makes life so much easier. So I'm going to do my name, K-A-T-I-E, and totally forgot to say, spell it backwards because otherwise it's not going to be good. So instead of spelling it K-A-T-I-E, you want to do K over to the right and then A-T-I-E this way because that way when you flip it over, it's going to actually spell your name correctly, which is Katie. Now you can do it this way and then you can also... There's actually an A, I, and a T in faith. 
So what you can do is you can do a big F if you wanted to, like down here, and then do the little H, which little H has disappeared, there's a little H. Little H is in a different spot. So you can do this and leave a space to where you can fit in the A, I, and T. But I don't recommend that. It does take a little bit more practice. You can do it, but I just like to do one word at a time. So we're just gonna do Katie really quick. And hmm, I'll show you the, um, the brownish color that I said kind of, that's what causes like little shadowing effect with some of these letters was the brown, but it doesn't cause it to um, use up any color or anything or change the color if you're gonna use a different color. So again, you're just gonna pat the little palette on here until you get the full color that you want. Make sure there's no splotches. So you want to look to make sure there's no missing spots in your ink, which I don't think there is, but I'm going to go over a little bit more. Put that back in there, and then you can just flip it over and line it up. I'll line it below the box. And then you just, you're just going to press down like that and lift up. Make sure you don't take the paper with you. <laughs> and then there you go. And that's how quick and easy it is. And then, so... I'm just gonna wipe it down with the same wipe I used. Just make sure you don't use the black. And you can either rub or pat. I say pat with letters because otherwise you're gonna have letters flying all over the place because they're small. But I'm just gonna pat because I'm gonna use the same color ink anyway so I don't have to worry about them being completely clean until I wash them and get, ready. get rid of them. So I can put my E back on here. All right, so I need my large F. You can switch that out, large F. And if you want to, before you um, use it again, just wipe off the excess from the white that way. It'll stick really well. So I'm just gonna put the F down, little A, your little A. And make sure, again, you spell your word backwards. So whatever word you want, that's the word you want to put backwards and make sure they're, they're pretty much touching each other so they can be nice and cozy like they're kissing each other. <laughs> the T and then I got to grab the little H. There you are, little H. I can put my K back. Yeah. And then you can make sure and flip it over and make sure it's spelled correctly. Make sure it's not crooked or anything on your block. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to use the dark brown actually in this one. Just to show you a different color. And again, pat it down until you don't see any little spots that may be missing ink. I always put a little extra just in case a spot may be missing and then you just line it up. And again, with the acrylic block, you can line it up right next to your word. Make sure there's a little space in between, like if there's a real space, and then you just press down. Make sure you press down nice and evenly on it, and then you take it and you pull up. That's how easy it was, look how cute that is. I think I might use that as my picture for the video. <laughs> but that was really cute and really easy, and I wanna show you the back. Um, there is a little shadowing, but this is very pretty thin paper. I would say a little thicker than Bible paper, depending on the Bible you have, but it is very thin um, um, lettering paper. So there's not much um, bleed through with this, even with the black. You can barely see it. Like, there's nothing there. That's how nice this ink is. Um, so I very highly recommend the color color box colors, which I will link down below for the, hopefully the exact colors. I'm going to try to find the exact colors. If I can't, I'll let you know in the description box. But I'm just going to get that. And I think that's all I have for you guys. It was a really easy video today. Um, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up and let me know um, if you have any more ideas you'd like me to try out for you guys. And if you want to learn a new technique, I'm happy to learn along with you if I don't already know it. But um, God bless. Um, my Instagram link is below. If you tried this tutorial for, for the very first time with stamps, I would love 
for you to share your pictures with me on Instagram. My link is down in the description below. Uh, have a blessed day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.